and wetlands it is. It's late in the year, so everything's relatively dry. Unlike the cranberry towns, the soil around here retains moisture much longer. So you have a cool sort of quasi stream bed and interesting rocks. And we are definitely along the east-west trending stretch of the trail. And oh look, it's a Bay Circuit Confidence Blaze. <laughs> look at that, will ya? What a funny surprise. Where are you? Oh yeah, and there's we're probably at a, a significant intersection. <laughs> there it is. Skulking behind some leaves. <laughs> the Bay Circuit Confidence Blaze. Letting you know that's where you are. How funny to run into it along the woods here. <laughs> It's the continuity of the theme. No matter what seemingly similar woods I'm wandering in where, there's always a high likelihood you'll run into the Bay Circuit Confidence Place. And look at this outstanding white oak. Good Lord, the thing is huge. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a white oak. They like somewhat wetter areas. Yeah, we're now coming up on the eastern side of the Ashland Town Forest. And this is the Red Trail, which it's a whole other world over there and deserves exploration in its own right. With luck, we'll have a sequel. So that's where the Red Trail meets the White Bay Circuit Trail. Then you have this completely outstanding old bridge feature. There's a couple of them. Evidence of the continuity of interest in this property by the local community. Look at this charming little bridge. Ashland likes to make cool little bridges. I've run into them along the river walk too. And there's not one, but two. So yeah, this is sort of the heart and soul of the place. Utterly charming little old bridges. And then the trail, parking lot heading south, crystal clear water of the stream, waning days of fall and huge oaks. Don't get much better than this. Grimm's Crossing is the name of these little bridges. Timothy Grimm's Troop 23 Eagle Scout Project from 1999. There you have it. This little piece of trail magnificence. One of the early things to greet you as you come in from the south. And this indicates that it won't be too long before our encounter with the parking lot, we should be seeing other trail junctures coming ahead soon as well. And now we're rising out of the wetlands and the charming little bridges, Grimm's Crossing, 
this looks to the north and the trailhead going off to Sudbury and Newbury. This looks to the south ultimately and the parking lot in Duxbury beyond. Kind of a second growth pine forest with bits of hemlock here and there. And now we're moved out of a zone of encroaching young pine. There's more hemlock. And we're in the home stretch.